Hi and how are you all today? I am Priyanka. The question says, in an examination, a question paper consists of 12 questions divided into two parts, that is, part 1 and part 2, containing 5 and 7 questions respectively. A student is required to attempt 8 questions in all, selecting at least 3 from each part. In how many ways can a student select the questions? Now, for this, we should be well versed with a formula for number of combination. That is, NCR is equal to N factorial divided by R factorial N minus R factorial. The knowledge of this formula is the key idea we are going to use to proceed on. With the solution. Now we are given question paper is having two parts that is part 1 and part 2. Part 1 is containing five questions And part 2 is containing 7 questions. Now 8 questions. Now 8 questions. Can be. Chosen. In the following three ways. Three questions from part one and five questions from part two. Or we can choose four questions from part one and similarly four questions from part two. Or we can choose five questions from part one or three questions from part two. Right. These are the three ways in which we can choose eight questions. Now the required number of ways for selecting three questions from part one will be out of five we can select three questions whereas five questions from part two we have seven questions in part two and we can select five so this is our required combination for three questions from part one and five questions from part two Further, for this B part, out of five questions, we can choose four from part one or seven. Out of seven questions, we are taking four questions from part four. So there are five C by four multiplied by seven C four ways of choosing these eight questions. Similarly, over here we have 5C5 multiplied by 7C3, right? Now, we will be solving them and adding the products to each other. That is, by applying the multiplication principle, we got that and the total number of ways will be obtained by their sum. So, it is equal to total number of ways of choosing eight questions from part one and two together. On simplifying, we have 5C3 can be written as 5 factorial divided by 3 factorial, 5 minus 3 factorial multiplied by 7 factorial divided by 5 factorial, 7 minus 5 factorial. 
plus 5 factorial divided by 4 factorial. 5 minus 4 will be written as 1 factorial. 7 factorial, 4 factorial, 3 factorial. Add it to 5 factorial by 5 factorial, 0 factorial. 7 factorial by 3 factorial, 4 factorial. This will be 1. Further, we have 5 factorial divided by 3 factorial, 2 factorial multiplied by 7 factorial, 5 factorial multiplied by 2 factorial, 8. Here we are left with 7 factorial which can be written as 7, 6, 5, 4, 3 factorial divided by 3 factorial. 2 factorial can be written as 2 multiplied by 1. 2 factorial can be written as 2 multiplied by 1 plus 5 factorial can be written as 5 multiplied by 4 factorial divided by 4 factorial multiplied by 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 factorial divided by 4 factorial into 3 factorial plus 7, 6, 5 into 4 factorial divided by 3, 2, 1 multiplied by 4 factorial. Further, we have 3 factorial here can be written as 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1. And on simplifying, we are left with 7 multiplied by 6 multiplied by 5 plus 5 multiplied by 7 multiplied by 5 plus 5 multiplied by 7. And the product, it can further be written as 210 plus 175 plus 35 which is equal to 420. So, this is our required answer to the part. I hope you enjoyed the session. Use the formula for counting of combinations and take care.